Hello fam, this is Sam. I'm actually on a new YouTube channel right now because I lost the credentials to the Samuel Courses one. So anyway, this is the new channel and to start it off, we are going to create a Kiwi dashboard if I can find it. So I was just browsing on Instagram and I saw this dashboard by this guy, Poya Malkesha. Poya Maleksha, if I can get that one right. So if I did get it right back. So anyway, this is his Instagram account and as you can see, he's got quite a few shots in here. He's a UI UX developer. And this will be his Dribble page. I'll leave the links of these two links on the description box. So on his Dribble, you'll see he's got quite a few shots. He's pretty good at his stuff. And the one we're interested in is this one, the e-commerce dashboard. So we're going to be creating this in uh, this tutorial and a few more that are coming. So we're going to start from scratch, like from here, all the way to all of this. So what we're not going to be creating, however, is the full app. Okay, We're not going to deal with the back end or all the other screens in here because I don't have them. I just have this one. So we're going to create this app, like this UI as you see it. And we're going to cover stuff like, uh, you know, custom widgets, adding plots in there, uh, nice images and all that stuff, even shadows. So we're going to create all of this, but these other screens we're not really going to create, but we're going to create this navigation, but without the screens in there because we don't have the designs for them. All right. So this is it. And uh, to start off, you're going to want to go here, like this link, and it's going to be in the description as well. So this is the starter template for what we're going to use. It contains all the assets we need and um, some starter widgets in there. So what you're going to do is you want to go to code, download this, and unzip it to whatever folder you want. Okay. So once you have that, we're going to go back to our terminal here. And this is the folder where the unzipped stuff is going to be. And in there, you're going to have this requirements.txt file. So you're going to want to pip install hr and requirements.txt so obviously i already have all of this that's why it's done but for you it's probably going to install some of these packages and you are good to go okay so from here you're going to want to open vs code and we're going to start coding so here let me explain the folder structure real quick because this is generated by a script actually that i made uh, to speed things along so anyway main.py the only thing that happens here is uh this file just imports the main app so this is the key app like the one that runs and it just runs it so this main.py is just there to just run the app all right and then our widgets folder this is where we're going to put all the global widgets so to speak so any widget that could go on more than one screen is going to be any custom widget actually that's going to go in more than one screen is going to go here for easy access on all our other screens all right, and talking about screens, this views folder is where we're going to basically put all the different screens that we have. So here we have this folder home, and this is going to be the home uh, screen. And this is basically this right here, like this part right there. All right, so the views is where all the views are or where all the screens are, like the different screens that we have. The assets folder is where images, fonts, and icons, and all other assets for your app are going to be stored. So here we have the fonts, and we have the fonts that we're going to use, Roboto. And these are just uh, icon fonts. And then on icons, we have the different icons. So as you can see, these are just PNG images, really. All right. And on images, we have the images that we are going to use. So for example, the chairs images and the other two images, this is actually just me. All right. And then on the app is where the root widget of your app is. So this is basically where main window and the app class for Kiwi is. All right. So once you have that, the last one is, uh, this is actually, like I said, this is generated by script. So this folder exists, but we're not going to be using this folder at all for this one because API is usually where I put like the API code. So stuff that gets all the other stuff from the server is usually put in API. So this is where the API client for your server is going to be. But obviously for this one, we're just creating the UI. So it's not going to be there. All right. So to make sure everything checks out, I'm just going to open up the terminal and you want to run this with Python main.py. And I'm actually going to run this with a custom size. So I will say something like, uh, 900 for the width and uh, 600 for the height and then just run this all right so everything checks out if you have this blank white window right here then you got it right and you are ready to go all right so before we close this one what we're going to do is real quick let me go back is uh let's create this layout so we're going to create this dash and then the other box here that's going to be contained that's going to contain all our other screens okay so let's go to vs code and uh, since this is if you look at this this is the top widget all right so this everything in here might change but 
this is never going to change because that's the navigation all right so since this is never going to change this fits to be in our root widget and that's how you want to design your QV app something that doesn't change put it in your root widget like when screens change and it doesn't then put it in your root widget if it changes with screens then put it on the views okay so let's go back and let's open uh, main.kv because that's where the root widget is all right and then main.kv by the way if you look at views is just a box layout okay so here we have orientation vertical and I'm just going to add spacing real quick and I'm just going to add eight for it all right now let's create those uh, two boxes so we want a box layout and this one let's just ID it for easy reference this is going to be uh, the nav menu all right so this is like your sidebar okay and then let's just uh, duplicate this and then here on the nav menu let's size size hinge x so we're going to size this and we want it to take uh, roughly 20 percent of the available width so we're just going to say 0.2 so kibi goes from 0 to 1 all right so 0 meaning 0%, zero 1 meaning 100. So 0 0.2 is 20% and that's exactly what we want. All right, so we're just going to duplicate this and uh, let this one take the remaining 80%. All right, and we're just going to, actually we don't need uh, that ID there. Okay, so in here, we're going, we're going to, let's go back real quick. So in here, you have a decision to make. This, you see this good morning, uh, Jack Davis and all that, it could change with your screens. But for this one, I'm thinking everything else will be changing. But across screens, this is going to be the same. So how we're going to deal with that is instead of a screen manager here, let's create a box layout like that. All right. And then we're just going to call this one uh, maybe action bar, something like that. All right. You don't have to call it action bar, but for easy reference, that's what I'm going to call it. And then in here, we're going to create our screen manager. All right, and ID is going to be screen manager. So the screen manager is what helps you to switch between different screens, all right? So the screen manager demands that you add screens to it, all right? You can't add anything else except a screen widget. And every screen needs a name so that the screen manager knows which screen you want to switch to when you choose to switch to a screen, all right? So here we're just going to call this screen uh, overview, as you can see right there, so overview. So you can name this however you want, but I like to name these uh, beginning with uh, what the widget is. All right, so screen overview there. And uh, yeah, for now, let's just duplicate this. And we have analytics. So uh, analytics, we have sales customers. So sales and customers. Again, we're not going to be implementing any fancy stuff for the other screens, but you know it's good to have them in there and then finance and i'm actually just going to leave it here like you get the idea so anyway we have all of these and let's just color these before we close this so that you know how it looks right now so rgbi and i am just going to give this like a reddish color all right rectangle so this is how you color your widgets in Kiwi. You just basically paint on the canvas, so self to the size. All right, now the other thing, this is the action bar, right? And the action bar, if you can see, usually I like to make it take about 42 pixels, but in this case, I'll make it bigger. Maybe I'll let it take, uh, let's say size hint Y, right? And to define like a static height or a static size for anything, make sure you have like the corresponding axis to none. So in this case, the height, like the Y axis is going to be none and the height is going to be, so DP stands for density independent pixels, okay? So if you just, for example, write 100 and the screen pixels change, then this height will be affected. Sometimes it appears smaller, sometimes it appears bigger, but if you use density independent pixels, then it will try to calculate the height for all the different screens that you have. All right, so in this case, I am going to make it, do -do 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 -do. let's just make it 84 for now. All right, and if it doesn't work, then we'll obviously we'll just change it. So this will be 84 pixels, and then this box layout will take the rest of the available screen height. All right, so the other thing I want to do is up here, let's add some spacing, and we're just going to add uh, eight pixel spacing. And uh, that will be that. So now let's just copy this. All right, make sure that everything looks the way we want. So I'm just going to paste this in, uh, shift it a bit, and uh, yeah, actually, let's change this color to, yeah, whatever the color is. And uh, so this is uh, this right here, all right? And then now let's color this so that, and uh, by the way, 
we are not going to keep these colors we just i just want to put them in there so that you see how the layout looks currently all right so that'll be that and uh i believe everything should be in order now so let's just run this all right and uh we have quite the problem and i know why we have an orientation where we don't need it so let's remove that orientation real quick and uh, boom all right so look at this this is the left navigation so that purple color is this all right and then ooh, where did it go and then this yellow right is this and then we have a problem with this because we didn't define the orientation so let's fix that real quick and this is where we're going to stop so the orientation we want is right here so orient orientation vertical like that all right and now if we run this here we go so this is the navigation and this is the top part that uh action bar and this is where the rest of the stuff is going to go and i think this is actually too big so i'm just going to reduce this make it 64 let's make it 64 and see what gives all right run this and yep looks good so that's the spacing right there and now we have like the basic layout so now all we have to do is fill in the widgets in here and uh let me just compare this real quick before i end mm, looks and uh, I hate it. <laughs> it looks too big. So I'm just going to reduce it uh, just a bit. So it's right here. I'm just going to make it 1.5. Give the rest of that 0.5 in here. Okay. And now if we run it, yep, looks good now. So let's, uh, okay, maximize. Interesting. So anyway, there we go. Uh, other thing, let me deal with the paddings real quick. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely have padding here. And at the bottom but looks like it's on this widget only so let's add that padding real quick before we close this so action bar we want to add padding here let's add that padding and for my cases I'm just going to add uh, 12 left right so padding uh, is a list property so this first value means from left to right so basically the horizontal padding and then this one is the vertical padding so vertically I will like to uh, yeah eight should be good let's check that out pad it there and uh, we have too much padding there so again this is a two tuple it's a two tuple list so here we have left right uh, vertically or you can put this one by one so in this case if I just say zero here now this is padding is uh, clockwise so left top right and then we're missing bottom now so what I want is uh, left and then 12 for the top for the top let's just make it 8 and then for right I will keep that 12 and then bottom 8 so this now is left top right bottom okay let's run this real quick and uh, yep looking good looking good I love it all right so this is where we're going to stop for this part of the tutorial and the next one we're going to fill in the navigation all right so stay tuned and uh please like and subscribe if you like this obviously otherwise yeah if you don't then just uh tell me in the comments why you hate it so much and that'll be that thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one